Welcome and welcome back, and thank you so much for stopping by, my fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon, and yes, in today's episode, Clash of Clans Diamond Pass, five amazing ideas and five terrible ideas that could possibly ruin it for everybody. But we are going to do all of that over episode 37 of No Clash, Clash of Clans, because 1,217 likes plus 10 likes for every subscriber, 83 subscribers. Thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button, for having notifications turned on. It keeps the channel going. It helps more than you could possibly know. Now, let's talk about five amazing ideas for the Clash of Clans Diamond Pass. These are ideas I think that most players would agree would help, but at the same time, feel free to leave your own opinions right down there in the YouTube comments as long as you remember the caveats that opinions are like butts, everybody has one, and they all stink. Okay, in my opinion, the Clash of Clans Diamond Pass beautiful ideas would include number one, 25% boosts. That's right, training, research, and builder boosts that go to 20% with the current gold pass would go to 25 with the diamond pass, accelerating you even more quickly towards that maxed out account that you have always wanted. Of course, along with this, number two would be bigger season banks. Let's make those banks bigger. And number three, how about cosmetic buffs? How about a clan castle skin or maybe your name in gold or a diamond shimmering name when another player looks at your profile or your base? You know, it's kind of like having carbon fiber trim on your car. Nobody else really cares, but you think it looks cool, right? Okay, move on to number four. This is the biggest, best idea yet. How about a seventh builder? You heard me right, seven builders, Galadon. Well, at the end of the reward track for a diamond pass, you unlock a seventh builder. I think that might go a long way. And then last but not least, how about special decorations like that hog rider statue I've always wanted to see in the game. Something along those lines, a way to decorate your base and say, hey, fellow fans, I'm important. I have a diamond pass. Okay, so now these may be some controversial ideas, but what are terrible ideas are coming up next because here, are the five absolute worst ideas for the Diamond Pass and Clash of Clans. And these five features, I warn the Clash of Clans team and Supercell as a whole could bring the game to its knees. All right, let's talk about the worst ideas. Beginning with number one, the price. I think that it should not cost more than 11 or 12.99. That's US, obviously convert it to your own currency, but somewhere around twice the cost of the current gold pass, I feel like is a really good ballpark for this diamond pass. Number two, this would be a terrible idea. And it's been done in another Supercell game that I will not mention, <laughs> Clash Royale. Reducing the rewards in the Gold Pass. No, no, do not touch the Gold Pass. Do not nerf the Gold Pass. Leave it alone. Number three is obvious. Anything pay to win. Pay to progress faster is okay. Pay to win is not. Number four and number five, Clan Capital Cosmetics and more skins and sceneries. I feel like these are just not what players are looking for if they're going to be spending this much money on a pass in Clash of Clans. But let me know what you think. And also let me know what you thought about this slightly shorter format video. Thank you, Galafam, for sticking around. If you did all the way to the end, that's what we need. I love you guys. I think about you. I appreciate you. Now get out there. Love, think about it, and appreciate the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I'll see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Galadon, Galadon, shorter videos, good idea. Better chance you can actually stay awake till the very end.